Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next part of uh, shopping cart project in ASP.NET Core 6.0. So here we have a last video tutorial on that topic uh, that is the cart get method, cart summary get method and today uh, we are talking about the stripe method that is used for the payment integrations. So first of all sign in to your stripe account and uh, if you are not logged in so just uh, change your passwords as well as register your accounts so uh, after that uh, you can log in into the system and just click on to the continue okay so you have to enter into the stripe account uh, successfully and uh, after that uh, just you can see the dashboard of the stripe that is the not activated account actually that is the test mode account and after that you have to choose uh, developer options where you can see uh, that there is the developer options and where you can see in the left panel that is API key just reveal the key and uh, you can see uh, both keys are there that is the publish publishable key and the secret key both keys are placed in inside your uh, app settings dot json file so just open it in the selection explorer that is the app settings dot session file so now after the uh, separate by the uh, session keys so here we have a payment settings so the first key that is a publishable key just copied under the section uh, that is the publishable key okay now the second key will be there that is the secret key so just copied it here mm, that is the secret key and just paste inside the secret key so here we have a payment settings where we have a secret key and the publishable key so after that you can uh, you can uh, you can add some additional information related to the payment information in the program.cs file just after that uh, your connection string and you can add the stripe configuration settings so here we have a builder.surface.configure the stripe dot stripe settings is actually uh, it's a class where we have a payment settings where we have a secret and the publishable key is there and after that we can get the builder.configuration dot this so first of all create a class uh, um, that is and before going to the class add a uh, name is uh, add a package um, from the NuGet package manager that is a stripe.net and that package is here so go to the browse and type just stripe.net and select it stripe.net and choose the latest version of the stripe here we go okay so the next step is to uh, to select builder dot configuration dot get section so just add a class for the stripe settings okay in the stripe settings we have you know that uh, two things first make it public and the second thing is to add uh, two class uh, two properties that is a secret key and the publishable key okay so here we go so the problem is all related to the namespace so the stripe setting builder dot configuration dot get section that is the payment settings so that uh, name is uh, include uh, the name is uh, present in the app settings dot session file so after uh, data seeding you can add the uh, stripe configuration dot api key you just get the api key um, by using stripe configuration stripe.net builder.configuration.get section payment settings column uh, secret key dot get string okay so here we have a post method for the cart summary page so just uh, uncomment this code and uh, make it simple so here we have the card summary page for the post action method. 
so in the uh, identity by using the uh, here we have a cart vm enter the cart vm you know that we uh, here we have a cart order detail as well as the order header uh, detail so in the claim identity user identity as well as the claim identity by using the claim identity we can just get the current logged in user information so in the list of cart just of all uh, first of all get the list of cart related to the particular user and uh, after that you can change the order status as well as the payment status so first of all order status uh, make it class make it class in the utility fold uh, utility project that is the order status as well as the payment status Okay, so here we have you uh, order status page. and the next is the payment status class and in the payment status class uh, add some uh, fixed properties to related to the payment status that is this so just paste it here status pending status approved status rejected status payment delayed So here we go. Mm, so both errors are resolved. Status pending, status pending, and that is the date of uh, order is date time dot now. Application user ID is claims dot value, and <coughs> one by one uh, just get the list of cart information uh, in the order head dot order total. Just get the order total by using the item dot product dot price mm, multiply with the count uh, item dot count, and after that you can save the order header information. So vm dot order header, and after that you can change uh, your context by using calling uh, unit of work dot save. and now uh, in the for each loop for the iterate uh, all the cart information by use uh, for the order detail page to add uh, order detail page by using their product id order header id count and the price so here we have a you know uh, work dot order detail dot add order detail so that got an error related to the order detail page so just check go to the definition part and uh, so here we have a order detail page dot add order detail I order detail repository and I headed with the I repository of 
order detail page and here we go so order detail dot add order detail session create options is actually exist in the stripe dot checkout namespace instead of stripe dot billing and that is the payment in integration information so after that you can see uh, the whole things are clear and make it formatable unit of work dot add headers dot add location order success Okay, here we have a uh, let's get started uh, from the beginning from the post method uh, first of all uh, just start with the get method so here we have a cart informations and uh, cart VM where we have a order header and the list of cart information uh, for the particular user and including with the product so here we have order header and the list of cart information after that order header dot application user get name phone number address burger. okay and just get the order total by using the iterate of the list of card that is the information of the getting uh, get action method of the summary page and in the post action method first of all get the user information by using their clamps identity and after that list of card information list of card is actually getting from the particular user so just to get uh, claim side uh, claims dot value and after that change the status of order status payment status state of order application user id as well as um, get the order total okay so after that uh, you can make some changes in the order header dot add vm dot order header and uh, as well as order detail page so just make it order detail page and add some information in the order detail page after that we have a domain and the options that is the session create options and here we have a line items more successful url cancel url okay so here we have a successful url customer cart order success that is the action method okay and just pass the order header id and in the for each loop where we have a variable item in vm dot list of cart and unit item is must uh, multiply with the 100 and currency you can add usd and in the product data here we have a name item dot product name quantity as well and in the service we have a service session service and service create a options okay so add the options that is the line information and the payment integration information so after that uh, you can make some um, changes to the order status as well as the payment status and after uh, successful uh, the payment integration payment uh, you can um, remove the cart information 